Last night, we introduced you to the ever-growing Cook family as they gathered for a reunion in Alert Bay. It turns out CTV's Ben Milger is a member of the Cook dynasty and on a journey of discovery. Last year, while reporting on the unmarked graves in Kamloops, he revealed his own truth. In tonight's Indigenous Circle, CTV's Mi Jung Lee follows Ben as he connects with his culture and the big family he has for the first time. From Vancouver, it takes all day to get to Alert Bay off the northern tip of Vancouver Island. For Ben Milger, it's taken his whole life. I was concerned that I would feel like an outsider. However, RCMP say no charges are being considered. As a journalist, CTV's Ben Milger is used to asking other people questions, but when it came to his Indigenous heritage and family, there were questions he could not answer. That would have been very awkward and embarrassing for me. So instead, I just avoided those conversations. He no longer wants to avoid those conversations. Ben has made the trip to Alert Bay for a Cook family reunion. He's a descendant of a large family whose stories are woven in the village's history and its struggle to honor their Namgus culture. Ben didn't know his family because he grew up in and out of foster care. Getting that sense of belonging has never been easy. Those emotions surfaced last year when he was covering the discovery of the unmarked graves at the site of a former Kamloops residential school, a national reckoning uncovering his personal grief. As people stop by here to reflect, some sing, some cry, others stare in stoic silence at 215 pairs of shoes. The biggest void in Ben's life was his mother, Elizabeth Hill. She struggled on the streets and for 21 years her family had no idea where she was. She was mishandled and mistreated. Finally, her sister and Ben's aunt, a lawyer, testified at the inquiry into the missing and murdered Indigenous women. And that reopened the investigation. And then we were able to find Ms. M when the investigation was done properly. She was living in a Toronto care home after suffering a brain injury. Ben made the trip out to see her. <laughs> then it was time for Ben to meet his 89-year-old grandmother for the first time. I was carrying a picture of me and my mom because she hasn't seen my mother in decades. And we just hugged for a long time, a couple minutes, and we were both crying. She's not the only one embracing Ben. The Namgis Big House is the cultural gathering hub here in Alert Bay. It's also where the large Cook family is about to welcome home one of its own. And eventually, we all come home. They present Ben with a special vest. We're going to cover him so that we wrap that supernatural around you. We welcome you home. I have this sense of relief. This weight is lifted from my shoulders. I feel like I am where I belong. I really took the long way around, but I am so happy to be home. Thank you all. An outsider no longer. Mi Jung Lee, CTV News, Alert Bay.